my name is Fred Scarpetto. I am originally from Houston, Texas, studying here in Montreal College of Art to get my BFA in photography, video, and film. I primarily work in wildlife and environmental conservation work and trying to bring the connection between wildlife and humanity back and bring awareness to my work. When I knew I wanted to do art, I've always kind of struggled with being, I guess, an artist. But I always loved drawing animals, and that's where my love for animals started. And it just sort of grew when I joined uh, when I started middle school, and then uh, I was taking art classes left and right. My subjects primarily still being animals, so just my love for wildlife in general. And then in about high school, I took a film class got me into photography and wanting to move my love of animals and from drawing back into photography. And then it just kind of took off from there. And now I'm getting a college degree in it. The summer of 2020, I did an internship at a pet photography studio. And it's like family um, and pet based, but mostly animals, I was around there. So I was very uh, stoked to do that. And I really got the chance to just really see the personal connections between people and their pets and that was more of like a civilized I guess way to describe it and um, I just it's just animals as a subject I I guess I can relate more to them I, I don't know it's just working with people for me is a little harder so I with animals it's just like calmness and I feel like connected I in my element and it just it's a lot easier to do and I just love it it's just something I love to do I was cleaning out my garage one day and I found my dad's old Pentax and uh, this old 35mm camera and I asked him about it, he had the lenses for it and then I bought some film and that sort of just <laughs> kicked it off and I was outside almost every day shooting photos of anything, just getting used to it, figuring out photography and this was before I took any classes on it too so I was still just experimenting with it. And I was just taking pictures of trees, you know, common like squirrels, things like that. And it just felt comfortable and right to have a camera in my hand. And, uh, you know, and my dad used to do it too. He got me excited to want to do something he had tried before. And it, yeah, I just, again, fell in love with that too. The components, how everything works, all the equipment, the shooting, everything. It just, I, I love it. <laughs> uh, for equipment, right now I have a... Canon 70D. It's an older model, but it has a flip-out screen, which helps a lot when I'm trying to do video and, um, and photography. And when I'm like, if I need to get low angles, I can like flip it out, do that. And that's pretty much what I go in to the forest with all the time. It's just that big lens, my camera, maybe a um, tripod or something like that. But that's pretty much all I use. I chose Montserrat mainly because it was so far away from where I'm at in Houston, and. Uh, I just, I had lived 18 years in uh, Texas, never lived anywhere else, I wanted to travel. That was a big thing on my list. I love to travel. So I went on a road trip with a buddy of mine and we toured colleges and uh, I came to Montserrat and I was like, you know, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go here. It's pretty far. I'm gonna li I think I'm going to like it. And four years later, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little excited to leave, but I'm gonna, there's a lot I'm going to miss about it too, just because it's so different from where I'm from. And there's a lot I can access here that I won't be able to, but it won't be the last time I'm here, though, so I'll definitely be back. I definitely feel Montserrat has um, helped me a lot. Uh, like I said, it was bumpy, but in the long run, I am who I am now because I decided to come here. I stayed the four years despite anything else that has happened, and it's definitely changed me into a better person. I, narrow down what, again, what I feel like my purpose is and what I want to do. There's a lot of things I've learned, a lot of people I've met that have contributed to that too. And yeah, I wouldn't change it.